This video is going to show you how to put maths equations in pages documents. This is the end product that we're working towards and this is where we're going to start. If the maths is anything complicated, write it on a piece of paper. Plus button at the top of the screen to open the equation inserter. The setting out starts off straightforwardly, f of x is equal to, then we're going to do cases. So begin cases. First of all a fraction, backslash frac, and the two arguments, 1 over 1152. Some parentheses and 144 minus x squared. So with cases, an AND signals um, the demarcation of the columns, and so all of this will be aligned with anything under it. Two double backslashes at the end, except for in the last row. So in the next row, um, zero, AND again to mark the alignment, and otherwise is in text. We don't want it in maths font. Click insert at the top of the equation inserter. That's it, and you can move it around. It's given you all sorts of guidelines. I don't know about the design aspect of it very much. I know what I like. Uh, you just sit it here. You can get rid of that. And put it a bit more in the middle. I think the numbers in the fraction are too small, so double click on the equation to open the equation editor. And we're going to turn the numbers into text style. That just makes them bigger, the type of the size they'd be if they were in the text. So another backslash text style in front of the denominator. You can see it gets bigger. And let's have a look. Yep, it's a bit nicer. Now I think I need more space between the fraction and the parentheses. So that's where I'm going to put it. And backslash comma is the LaTeX code for a thin space. You should see this open up a bit more. Yep. Now I have a X in the text, which is in text font. I want it in maths font. So I'm going to put inline equation. The other one was a display equation. Um, you press the put the cursor where you want it and you can have a equation in line with the rest of your text. It's just an X. Okay, now I'm going to shift that zero. I don't like it over there on the left. I want it more in the middle, underneath the 40 of 144. I'm going to put a phantom space. And I have to put something, and the argument is the thing that takes up the space. We won't see the thing, but we'll see a space that size. So this is the row above, and that's the size of the space I want. So I'm just going to put that in there to put those things back after. Alright, so close the brace for phantom, put back a zero, put back an and, put back a backslash for the text. And we should be in business. Yeah, I think that's quite good. I'm going to leave you with the code that I wrote because the output was there at the beginning and will be the thumbnail.